Well, guys, today we're going to take a look at some Bulgarian technology. A couple months ago, I sent the Lockbuster some American locks, and then he sent me these in return. It took him two tries because this got bounced back, but it finally got here. Very high mileage box. Um, inside of here, I have a variety of different Bulga pieces of Bulgarian technology. This really cool looking padlock, which we're going to look at closer in just a moment. Uh, he sent me a crowbar, which uh, I didn't realize what that was for, but uh, again, we'll talk about it. And then he sent me a bunch of half cylinders. Most of these are Bulgarian technology. So you guys are going to be seeing these over the next month or so as I try to work my way through them. Dimples, uh, pin tumblers, a lot of things. And he also sent me a James Bond credit card. You guys, I think, have seen this before. This truly is high mileage because... Uh, I think this was made here in the States, so went to Bulgaria and then made a round trip. So we'll take a look at that stuff later, but today, let's take a look at this cool guy. A few years ago, I, I was in Sofia doing some work and I saw a lot of locks, very popular locks, just like this one used for on storefronts and motorcycles and all kinds of stuff. And these are unique in their design. The center part is actually, this is cast as one piece. This is all solid. So there's nothing in the center portion of this lock at all. On this side, there's a very strong spring that'll, that controls, uh, removes the, uh, pushes the shackle out. And then over here, the only locking mechanism is located on the right. When I first saw these, I thought, man, that's too easy. I'm just gonna shim that thing. But uh, that was a, a huge fail on my part because they thought about that. This is actually an interlocking mechanism on the tailpiece. So when I turn, you actually have to turn this core to remove that interlocking piece from the cutout on the shackle. It is not shimmable. You actually have to turn the core either with a key or pick it. Now I don't have a key, but we are gonna pick it. Uh, Lockbuster also sent a crowbar. I mean, this is huge. Let me get one up here for comparison. This on the right, is the largest tension wrench that we normally use here in North America. And we rarely get to use it because it's so big. And when you compare it to this thing, it is this thing's almost twice the size. Almost have to have two hands to pick this thing up. So I was ready to discard it until I looked at the keyway on this lock. And it's very wide open and we got a piece of warding right there. So I can't pick from the bottom, so I might as well fill it up with this huge Bulgarian Tension wrench, made from a piece of railroad tie, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, that's going to work just perfectly. Um, we're going to have to pick from the right side, and let me grab, I guess I'll try. This is the uh, short hook from the Praxis kit, and this one is the 23 thousandths with some shrink wrap. I'm just going to put him on that ledge right there and pick. Let me make sure he fits without dragging. Yeah, so he doesn't even drag. It's a nice wide open, so he'll work from that ledge. Put this guy in the bottom, and let's see if we can... Get this Bulgarian technology open. All right, I'm going to slide this all the way in. Apply a little bit of tension. Hope you guys don't mind me holding this in my hand. And I'm looking for a binder, and I just found it is pin one, one in the very front. Wow, pretty gritty. Very significant click. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. Looking for another binder, and it feels like three. Get on him. There we go. Again, a good click. I can feel it. We got a little slight turn on the core, so I don't know if now we're looking for a security pin. All right, I'm on pin two. Wow, very crunchy. I got a good solid click on a slight turn on the core. I'm, that was three again. He'd fallen back down. I'm on four. And there we go. All right, it's starting to turn. We have an open. Let me pull my pick out of the way. So we do have an open. Let me show you. I'm just going to turn it so you can see how powerful uh, the spring on this side is. So we turn the core. Wow. Very solid click to get it out of there. And now you can see the cutout. Let me get this wrench out of here. Now you can see the cutout on the shackle. And then when we look on the top, you can see there are no spring-loaded things in there. Let me put that tensioner back in there. And we can rotate this and you'll see exactly how this thing works. See how that actuator will interlock uh, on the left there? How it turns? I'm going to go ahead and lock it. And just interlocks with that cutout. So it's odd that you can lock this without the shackle in place, but it is a very simple yet pretty secure mechanism other than 
being able to pick it so easily. So anyway, there you go, the Bulgarian padlock. Very unique, and I think unique only to Bulgaria. Anyway, thank you, Lockbuster, for the lock. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal. <laughs>